Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Elaine Vince, certified health coach and personal trainer, and we're on day nine of our 30 day health challenge. I hope everybody is having a great weekend and I hope your new year is getting started to a great start. So today's topic is hemoglobin A1C. I just wanna make a distinction. I'm gonna do a video tomorrow on anemia, which is going to include hemoglobin that would be like on a complete blood count test result, um, but this one today is A1C, and that is measured in a percentage. All right, so first off, what is A1C? So A1C is a blood test that is used to diagnose diabetes. Um, also, if you have diabetes, they would use this blood, this blood test to monitor your treatment progress. Um, so you might go in every three or four months and have your labs run. Now this test does not have to be fasted. You don't need to be fasted for this test um, because this is the average blood sugar over three months. Um, so if you want more information on blood sugar, um, check out earlier in this challenge and I did a different video on um, fasted blood sugar or glucose um, so you can have a better idea of what that is. Um, but A1C actually is measured in a percentage. Um, so we're not talking about the finite number of hemoglobin that is a component of red blood cells. We'll go over that in tomorrow's video. Okay, so A1C, what do the numbers mean? I actually don't have a test I can show you with my test results um, because I've, I've actually never had my A1C measured. Um, I personally have not been diagnosed with diabetes, um, but I work with a lot of clients who have either pre-diabetes or have uh, been diagnosed with diabetes. So we definitely look at these numbers and monitor them uh, to see how, how our progress is going with our program. Okay, so what do the numbers mean? If you have an A1C test result, of less than 5.7%. So that would be like 5.6% or lower. This is telling you the percentage of glucose that is attached to hemoglobin, which is a protein found in red blood cells. That is the percentage of the blood sugar that is found with that hemoglobin protein. Um, so what does that mean? If your blood sugar on average is higher, so let's say for example, your value for your A1C test was between 5.7 and 6.4%. That number, your physician, your healthcare provider, whoever you're working with, who's going over these test results with you, can diagnose you with what's called prediabetes. Um, so prediabetes is a warning sign. You definitely don't wanna develop the disease of diabetes. Um, I know like type one diabetics, there's, there's not a whole lot you can do with given the genetic situation, um, but you wanna make sure if at all possible, if you are not born with diabetes, um, and, and it can be diagnosed later in life as well, uh, you want to try to monitor so that you don't develop diabetes. Um, but then what if your number is even higher? What if your A1C is 6.5% or greater? Um, now that level of an A1C measurement, that is that is then um, your healthcare provider diagnosing you with diabetes. Um, so you definitely wanna make sure that if you do have diabetes, you wanna make sure you get these numbers run um, about every three months. And, and the rationale for that is a red blood cell, they're like these cells that are in the body, um, their lifespan is only about three to four months. It's like 90 to 120 days. Um, so it would the test result of A1C, that test result would not actually give you results of more more uh, time that was like five or six months ago, it, it would be more current. It would be what's currently in your blood. Because um, your body manufactures, it's, it should, your body th should manufacture red blood cells on a continual basis. Um, now please keep in mind if you do have certain blood disorders, um, like anemia, we're gonna talk about anemia tomorrow, uh, your A1C test results might not be accurate. Um, so something to be your own health advocate is if you do have diagnosed anemia, and there are different types of anemia, then your A1C might not be accurate. Um, so again, my name is Elaine Vince, health coach, personal trainer. I hope this information has been useful and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day, bye.